Let's take a look at some of the exciting new manga releases for April of 2022. Stay tuned. Welcome to the first installment of a new regular monthly series on my channel where I talk about some of the most noteworthy new manga releases of any given month. So of course in this video we're going to be looking at new releases for April of 2022. Now first, what do I mean when I say noteworthy? I'm not making these videos just to talk about new releases that I'm excited about, but I wanna go through a lot of new releases that are coming out that I think are noteworthy because maybe it's the beginning of a new series or maybe the final volume of a series uh, or maybe a new uh, special edition volume or a new box set, something like that. And while I don't mention any in this video, I'm also not opposed to mentioning noteworthy new light novels or noteworthy new art books that come out in the future. And I wanted to do these videos because not only does this help me to make you, my audience, aware of some new books that you may not have known about, but also it allows me to kind of look through the releases in detail and find some things that I may have skimmed over when I was looking at what was coming out for myself. Um, I do that all the time, and, and it's like my least favorite thing in the world is a new series starts up, I don't pay attention, and then like by the time volume three or four comes out, everyone's talking about how great it is and the first volume or the second volume or something is out of stock and I wind up having to wait months before I can actually pick it up and, uh, and wind up reading it. It's happened a lot in the past and if I can prevent that from happening in the future, that's great and I think that like for the month of April I'm probably gonna be safe on that because there are a lot of books that I'm talking about in this video in particular that I honestly had no idea were even coming out and now I'm planning on picking them up to try them out. Uh, so real quick, some of these releases uh, are already available to be ordered online or to uh, pick up at like Barnes & Noble or Books A Million. Uh, things come out early all the time. Also, some of these might be pushed back into the next month. I know at least one of the books I'm talking about on this video uh, was pushed back from last month. So it's not anything new. It's not weird. It happens all the time. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump on in and look at some of the new releases coming out in April, starting with a couple books that are coming out in the first week of this month on April 5th we have Sakamoto Days Volume 1. So this is the newest ongoing series that Viz has added to their uh, Shonen Jump line and it is a really fantastic one. I have been following Sakamoto Days since Chapter 1 came out in the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine and I have been absolutely loving it. It is a fantastic blend of humor and action. If you've not read it before and you like things that are, you know, action comedy oriented type stuff, definitely check it out. You can read, I believe the first three chapters should be available for free to read on uh, the Viz Media app, the Shonen Jump app, and also on the Manga Plus app. So you can definitely try the series out there, make up your mind whether you like it or not, and pick up that first volume. I am excited to add that physical volume to my collection. I. I, I love this series. Again, it's such a fantastic one. Also, in the first week of this month, uh, we have Darling in the Franks Volume 1 from Seven Seas. Now, this is a two-in-one volume collecting the first two of eight of this series that is an adaptation of the uh, the anime of the same name, of course. So, in total, Seven Seas will be releasing four of these two-in-ones. This one uh, is noteworthy, A, because it is uh, a volume one based off of uh, a, a popular anime, but also because it features artwork from uh, Kentaro Yabuki, who you might recognize from stuff like Black Cat or maybe from To Love Rue. So if you're a fan of these series or the currently ongoing Weekly Shonen Jump series Ayakashi Triangle, which was actually recently announced to be getting a physical edition from Seven Seas uh, later this year, then you'll probably want to pick this one up. Next up, we have a couple of noteworthy releases for the second week on April the 12th. First up, we have the second Seven Deadly Sins box set. This collects volumes 8 through 14 of the original series uh, in a nice box. So if you haven't collected the single volumes and you're not getting the three-in-one editions uh, of Seven Deadly Sins, this is a good way to get those for a price that's a little bit better than just buying all the single editions. There should be like six box sets in total to run through the entirety of the series. Also on the 12th is a single volume from Sublime called Lynx. This one is notable because it A, it's a single volume. It's 250 pages, just one volume, so you don't have to commit to a new like ongoing thing, but it is from the same creator as uh, the series Given, which like even as someone that does not read like any boys love material, 
I've heard of Given, so I know that it comes from a well-known creator, um, so a lot of people who are fans of Given will probably want to pick up links. Moving on to the third week, on the 19th of April, we have several releases that are really notable. First off, I'm going to talk about Apollo's song Omnibus from Osamu Tezuka. So Tezuka has been having a lot of releases recently. Um, publishers have been it, seemingly trying to put out much of his works, so we can have a more complete library of his works available and in print. Um, and so this Apollo's song Omnibus is collecting the entirety of the three volume series in one volume. So if you are a fan of classic manga, if you are a fan of Tezuka himself, you'll definitely want to pick this one up. Next up we have volume 4 of number 5 by Taiyo Matsumoto. This is the final volume of Viz Media's releases of this series. Now if you're a fan of Taiyo Matsumoto from his work on stuff like Tech on Kincrete or Ping Pong, and you haven't been picking this one up, I highly recommend that you do. These are fantastic physical releases, and I am very excited to see that fourth and final volume released. This is the first time that number 5 has been completed in English. Um, Viz Media did try to release it uh, previously, but they only got through the first two volumes out of eight. Um, and these are now new two-in-one oversized editions that are really, really, again, really beautiful books. So if you're a fan of uh, Matsumoto's work, definitely pick it up. Also, he does a lot of like references in here to European comic artists like, uh, like Mobius, for instance. Um, so if you're a fan of European comics, uh, this might be worth a look for you in particular. And it's only four two-in-one volumes, each of which have a cover price of $22.99. Next up we have the Witches Complete Collection Omnibus coming from Seven Seas. So this was originally a two-volume series in Japan by Daisuke Igarashi, who's the creator of Children of the Sea. So if you're a fan of that series, you'll definitely want to check this one out. Uh, I wanted to highlight this because of course it is a single volume release, so it's a nice one that doesn't come with any baggage. You don't have to worry about uh, picking up a lot of volumes down the line, but also because it does come from a familiar creator in Daisuke Igarashi. The book itself is an anthology type series of stories about witches that do have uh, a connecting through line. I've never read this before, but I'm very excited for it. And this is one of my most anticipated releases of this month, though it was delayed from last month, so hopefully another delay does not happen. And the last release for the 19th that I want to talk about comes from Shuzo Oshimi, the creator of stuff like Blood on the Tracks or Flowers of Evil, and that is the first volume of Welcome Back Alice. So if you are a fan of stuff like Flowers of Evil, Inside Mari, Happiness, or uh, Blood on the Tracks, you'll probably want to pick this one up. I'm a huge fan of Shuzo Oshimi's work. Um, so any new Oshimi release is something that I'm going to be excited to pick up. Also note, Welcome Back Alice is currently an ongoing series, uh, so there's no telling how long it's going to be, though Oshimi's works, the Blood on the Tracks is the longest of his works, and it currently has 12 volumes, so I wouldn't expect for it to go on uh, to be that much longer than that, just in case you're worried about shelf space. All right, let's move into the final week of April. The 26th has a lot of really exciting new releases. First up is The Solitary Gourmet. This is uh, it, this manga, is a, it's a single volume omnibus uh, collecting all 32 chapters of that series with artwork by Jiro Taniguchi. And if you're unfamiliar with the name Jiro Taniguchi, you might recognize his work. There was a French animated adaptation of his series uh, Summit of the Gods that was released on Netflix recently, and for me, I'm a big fan of his book The Walking Man. Uh, so once I saw that a new Taniguchi book was being released in English, I knew that I was going to have to pick it up. The series follows basically a traveling salesman type guy um, who is, as it suggests, the title suggests, is a very solitary person. Uh, he, you know, he's not married and has no plans to get married. He he smokes, but he doesn't drink. Um, but what he does like to do is when he's traveling to you know, work and make his sales and stuff, he likes to stop at different restaurants and try food from not just around Japan, but from around the world. And every single chapter of this series features the character visiting another restaurant and trying another dish. Uh, th this sounds like exactly the type of thing I would expect after, you know, having read The Walking Man. Um, that's exactly what I would expect from Taniguchi himself, um, and I am very excited to pick this one up. Next up, we have the first volume of A Galaxy Next Door, which is a new slice-of-life romantic comedy series 
uh, coming from Kadansha from the same creator as uh, the series Sweetness and Lightning. Now, I've, I've never read Sweetness and Lightning before, so I can't comment on that. But number one, the cover of this series is really nice. And number two, I'm really intrigued by the synopsis of the series itself. Uh, basically, we have a young uh, manga artist who is taking care of his two younger brothers after their father's passing. And things are getting really hard for him as his assistants keep quitting on him. Uh, however, a new assistant comes to work for him and she seems kind of odd, kind of, uh, I think it describes her as otherworldly. And things really get weird when she all of a sudden declares that the two are betrothed to be married. So it's, it's a fun sounding concept and I really am interested in picking this one up. I had no idea this one was even coming out or that it existed, but by the description of it, I'm really intrigued by it and I'd like to see how it is. Next up is another BL release, Boys of the Dead. Uh, the description called it Zombiel, so a nice little uh, play on words there. Uh, but this is an anthology collection, a single volume anthology collection of boys love stories set during a zombie apocalypse. That sounds absolutely hilarious to me. So if you are a fan of BL, this might be one worth looking at. Another one that I wasn't previously aware of is uh, Lady Murasaki's Tale of Genji. Now the Tale of Genji is legitimately acknowledged as being the first novel ever written. Uh, written like literally about a thousand years ago by Lady Murasaki. The Tale of Genji is, um, well it wasn't at the time, but now it's a historical romance that follows a young prince. So if you are interested in like legitimately classical literature, this might be one that you want to pick up. This is a manga adaptation of that classic novel. Um, if you are interested in the novel itself, I noticed that the novel is also on sale at Right Stuff, so you can pick this up and the novel at the same time. Next up is Sensei's Pious Lie, Volume 1. This is a two-in-one release from Vertical. The original series had eight volumes total, so this in the US and English is gonna have four volumes released. This one is a drama series that deals with extremely heavy topics. I suggest looking into the plot of the series, just looking on uh, Right Stuff at the description because uh, there are some, uh, some things that I don't really wanna say on my channel that this deals with. Um, but the description of how it deals with those topics and the fact that this was nominated for many different awards makes me extremely interested in reading this series. I did not know that this one was coming out at all, and this shot up to be one of uh, the series that I'm most excited to read for this month. And finally, we have Blackguard Volume 1 from Ryo Hanada, uh, who is the creator, of course, of the series Devil's Line. The series is described as being a supernatural action title where ape-like creatures eat humans, and a human that is bit by one of these creatures and survives winds up catching a mysterious virus. Uh, it sounds very intriguing, uh, to say the least. I have never read Devil's Line before, but if I pick this one up and I enjoy it, I foresee myself picking that up as well sometime down the line. So that is the last of the notable releases that I wanted to go over for the month of April. There were a, at least a couple more volume ones out there that come out this month, but it was like the, the ones based on light novels with ridiculously long titles and Honestly, I don't find many of those to be very noteworthy, so I didn't even decide to put them in this video. But there are a lot of other books that I'm very excited to pick up for this month. These are just some that I thought deserved a little bit of attention, mostly because of the fact that they are uh, first volumes of new ongoing series or just single volume releases. So hopefully I was able to go over at least one release here that you were not familiar with. And if so, what book that I mentioned are you gonna be picking up, whether you already knew about it or not? Let me know in the comments down below. And as well, let me know about any other releases that you are excited about coming out in April that I didn't mention in this video. So thank you so much for spending the time with me and watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to hit the thumbs up because uh, I believe it helps with the algorithm. And as well, uh, make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified of all the exciting new videos that I put out. Again, thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.